Right it's there. time for more Academy. Famous Than Us, brought to you by our great friends at Academy Sports and Outdoors. We love Academy. No, we do. They have everything. Yeah. The, uh, and I can't the, walk out of there without right a new pocket knife. Absolutely more famous than us. And that's why we're here. Kevin Falk and Roman Harper join us now. Mr. Falk, how are you doing today? Uh, hey, by the way, congratulations. I don't care what Hall of Fame it is. They, if you, they say we want you in, you say yes. But this is the biggest that there is in this game, the College Football Hall of Fame. Congratulations. Well, uh, <laughs> Really do appreciate it. Thank you a whole lot. Uh, didn't know, like, how – I knew how special it was, but when you get the actual letter and you're reading the letter and they, they're telling you how many college football players there have been in college football and you're in that percentage of the guys that have made it to the College Football Hall of Fame, that – that alone, just reading the chills you get down your body. And, and at the time, I was alone in my room, in my computer room with no one around. And I kept that secret for about a week and a half until we had a family gathering. Uh, How'd you do that? I don't know, really. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know, but I, I did it. I did it. Yeah. Well, congratulations. This According to the uh, great Michael Bonnet, who we just saw here somewhere a minute ago, the great sports information director here, you are the 11th LSU Tiger ever wow. to be inducted wow. or elected into the College Football Hall of Fame. So as you're sitting there, as you're in solitude and you're consuming this information that you are now officially one of the greatest of all time in college football, what is the emotion? Um, speaking to that 11th LSU football player that's been inducted to College Football Hall of Fame, that speaks for the tradition here. Um, the guys that come here, what it means to them, family, um, no matter what it is, coming back, it's still that family atmosphere. So it's that feel. Um, like my immediate family can't be here today with me because they have other obligations, but my football family is going to be with me today. So, and, and that's what it is. Yeah. Hey, I love it. I got something, though, because I grew up watching Kevin and I, and then when I had the honor and pleasure of playing against you, you were a totally different running back than you were in college to the league. And I'd like to speak to you about that growth process, how you got to – to be the elite guy because you played in the league for way longer than most running backs. Adjust. Um, like anything else in life, you have to adjust. Something happens to you that you, you're you not aware of or not waiting for. You got to adjust who you are. Uh, college football, I was all everything. I played yeah. running back, kick returner, punt returner. <laughs> when I got to the league, I had to change that. Yeah. My whole mindset had to change. Uh, when I got the call from Coach Belichick saying, hey, look, we're bringing in Antoine Smith. We're going to need you to be our third down back. I was upset. Yeah. Because I'm a competitor. I want to help the team win. Well, you have to get talked down a little bit. You know, <laughs> my agent talking to me, telling me, hey, look, this might be a gift for you. You just never know it. You might last longer than you, even, you can ever imagine. And it's true. 13 years later, I'm still telling him thank you for that conversation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One thing that I would love to know is you played with Tom Brady, won Super Bowls with Tom Brady, and you were here on Coach O's staff during that unbelievable run that LSU had in 2019. So what attributes does Joe Burrow have? What do you see in Joe Burrow that, that Tom Brady possessed as well? Ooh, a lot. A whole lot. Uh, the competitiveness, um, the will, the want to win, um, the leadership, uh, how he gets guys together. I tell guys when he first got to LSU, not the 2019 year, the 2018 year, um, how you could just see it developing, how he would sit down with a certain group of guys on different, different days, different weeks. Um, and majority of people on the team, a lot of different people on the team, that he would just sit down and get to know, and get to know what this team was. Um, and I thought that's what made him special, and that's kind of like Tom. Mm -hmm. He never wanted to be compared to Tom, though, never, ever. <laughs> Well, I'm going to ask you a question that I've asked Roman, that I ask everybody that I, I'm fortunate to work with or meet. Where are your Super Bowl rings? you got a, you got a drawer full of them. Uh, I actually – it's funny you ask that. I actually took one of them out of the uh, safety deposit box today, and I'm actually supposed to have it on right now. But that just goes to show you how much I wear them. <laughs> <laughs> That's usually the answer. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, I think we all like to think we'd wear it around our neck like Flavor Flav all right, day, right? right? But, right. but the reality is – you, you, they're you, valuable. Yeah, exactly. They're valuable. Yep, yeah, yep. Um, you only want to wear them in special events, and today is actually a special event. I actually got it, but I just forgot to put it on. You know? <laughs> I just think it's funny because people really come up to you like, dude, you got your ring on? I'm like, yeah. Yeah. why would I be wearing a Super Bowl ring right now? Yeah, but like, do you, where, where do you wear yours? Never. Uh, if it's, we have a reunion or right, something. Right, right, right. Yeah. Like you want to, if you ever want to go into like a job interview and just flex, maybe right. that point. But other than that, 
There's, See, there's mere no mortals, harder flex to the Super Bowl but, ring. But mortals like us would yeah, wear them yeah, damn yeah, things yeah, everywhere. I'd weld mine in the front of my store, truck. Golf yeah. course. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's a, but yeah, but I, would just have, I always like to ask that question. It's like well, I meet actors that have won Oscars. I'm like, where's your Oscar? And you, usually they don't know. Or if they do know, it's in a bank. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, so, yeah. It's, uh, also, how about, hey, how about my man Harp has a Snoop Dogg lapel pin? Hey, I heard it was his birthday. It's his birthday this week, man. That's it, baby. I know he's I know he's up uh, out and out in L.A. watching. I right? had hey, the what's green up, Snoop? suit on. I had the green birthday, suit man. on. So, you I'm know, sorry. I just figured, just wanted to be all <laughs> encapsulated. Green suit. I think that that's a suit I wore last week. See? Yeah. It looks yeah. great. All right.